Well, in what will surprise few of you, the leader of the SNP, Nicola Fishlip Sturgeon, and her medical passport rules have been ridiculed because of course they have. It was always going to be a disaster and that's exactly what it is. In fact, the UK government's report into their own desire for one showed it will be exactly the same. For Scotland, no, in its first weekend it was literally labelled an unmitigated disaster by hospitality leaders up there. There was massive drops in customer numbers reported to be at 40%, so there goes their profit, literally out the window as quick as Boris Johnson and Nicola Fishlip's credibility on this one has. Of course, this is great news for the public and people power as you have more power than you think. It goes without saying that businesses will start ignoring any stupidity like this if the 40% drop in custom becomes a 50 or 60% drop week in, week out. Remember, as I've said before, money talks and bullshit walks and that's certainly the case when you've spent your life building a business. When it comes to customers though, they will just go to the pub, stay at home or attend raves and the ones who don't will treat your staff how people enforcing discrimination and segregation literally deserve. That has been shown already in Scotland where apparently it's creating hostility and forcing businesses to close early because of the 40% drop in custom, something none of us predicted of course, we ain't Mystic Meg after all are we? Now all of this comes as Glasgow host Boris Johnson's globalist eco shindig without the need for any passports or any of that. Yes, the elites can all sit in Scotland without a care in the world, but the lowly Scottish peasant needs to carry a card saying he has complied with dear leader Cranky. Sounds like rules for thee, but not for me, like at the start of summer I would say. And all of this while businesses have to spend big money to implement this when failure's literally its only route. Public feeling towards it's only gonna drop as time goes on. But as I was saying earlier, reports out of England are also showing that this is going to be an unmitigated disaster for businesses, including the Premier League clubs who signed up for it as you know. But despite signing up for it, they're refusing to check everyone coming in, making it completely pointless, which let's be honest it was anyway. The amount of extra staff that's required to implement it is not something businesses will be able to afford when football drops by 40% or more as we've seen in Scotland. Even Premier League clubs won't be able to keep up with that. Me personally, as I've said before, I will be encouraging anyone to boycott any business that implements any of this bollocks. I don't care if the government's making them do it or any of that. At the end of the day, the government can only make people do something if they let them. But I think it goes without saying that if 40% of turnover is lost across the board, for instance, many businesses are going to go under. Maybe that's what the government wants, but the people who work their ass off to build them certainly won't, so it's on them to fight back as I've said. Now, all of this talk about the passport sending people to pubs and smaller venues obviously needs to be watched out for, because these lunatics might try and use that as the excuse to bring these passports into pubs and smaller venues. I'm sure they bloody want to, as you know. Pubs are gonna have to resist this, and I'm sure they will, given all that's gone on recently, but we can't be certain in this day and age. I've got to say, though, I'm not surprised by any of this that we're seeing up in Scotland. We all expected and said that there would be a complete shit show, creating animosity and putting staff at risk, which of course it's doing week one. At this point it might be time for the businesses involved in this to actually fight back because if they all did it around the country then it would be easy to defeat. Without small business support the government is right in the shit as many of you know, they are the lifeblood of this country, the people have power, they just don't fucking know it and the media certainly won't be telling you. But week two of Scotland's old passport shit is going to be coming up in the next couple of days so we'll have to see what's going on there. Friday and Saturday night are going to be the peaks when we'll see if footfall continues to drop or stays at about 40% below what it should be. Obviously this is the old Halloween weekend so there should be a shitload of people out, in fact more than normal so if it's not as high as it was say in 2020 or 2019 then it's going to show what has actually happened because of these passports. 